Hello again everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're in the FSS E195 here at Bristol Airport, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and our video today is going to focus solely on how to update your nav data in this aircraft, especially if you've got Navigraph. So as always wherever you are in the world, hit like, hit subscribe, share your thoughts and as always any other tips and tricks in the comments section below. So first up, locate your installation folder. In my case I have it installed directly into the Sims community folder and uh, this time via Contrail it's under Community 2024. So I'll enter that folder and you can see there we've got FSS E19X and also the freighter version as well but we'll focus on the first package at the top. We're going to go into that folder and we can see therefore a nav data updata package. It's an application most of the way down the list about three quarters of the way down if you're watching and you're looking. Once you've located that you want to double click it and you'll get in my case certainly an administrator permission pop up via Windows. So you're going to go ahead and uh, open it and then you have this installer add-on going to hide the package uh, file explorer so you need to point the aircraft's path to the nav data updater I'm going to press add path and mine's already pre-selected so you can see it's inside your installation folder as we were earlier and there is a folder called FSS WASM data double click that and in here you've got the wasm data vfs file but more importantly in our instance today navdata.vfs so you want to go ahead and double click that and it will say navdata already exists do you want to replace it yes and then it appears on the list in your little application now this is where your Navigraph subscription is important. You want to now click Authenticate Navigraph. So go ahead and authenticate your Navigraph account into the FSS Navdata Updata via the code that it will give you. So typically it will be navigraph.com forward slash code and then whatever code they provide or you scan the QR code that's displayed on the screen on the app. Having completed that you are presented with this uh, additional bit of information. So we can see currently um, for my aircraft in this instance that we've got cycle 2513 vision 1 and it's installed in the relevant location and that is the most up to date nav data as it stands currently now if you want to update that you can go ahead and click the tick box on the left hand side certainly if you're going from default to the new nav data and then you press download and update so we'll do that anyway for the purpose of demonstration and you can see at the bottom it's downloading the correct Navigraph nav data package that the FSS eJets requires and then it begins to update it so it's going to take all of the SID stars all of the approaches all the flight paths all of the waypoints around the globe and it's going to reform that that into the specific format that FSS need for their FMS. On completion uh, you get two options like so, you've got uh, home or quit, you can actually also open up the folder as well if you want to so you can see the latest date and time for the installation or you can go home and it will provide you with uh, that package again. That's it. Then you can dive into your aircraft, bring all the systems online and uh, as a result of that you should get the most up-to-date nav data for your e-jets. Hope you found it useful, short and sweet. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.